Well, hello there. You're probably wondering what's in the box, and I'll be more than happy to share with you. But before I do that, I gotta address one thing because people who watch videos on this channel are used to having me speak Romanian. So this is gonna be the first video I ever do in English. It's not gonna be the last, but it is the first. So hopefully you guys manage to go through it. I'm still gonna do Romanian videos, don't worry, but I just thought that, you know, the world's a big place. A lot of people speak English. There's a lot of people who have the same interests as us. So why not do it? If I was able to do it in Romanian, I'm sure I'm able to do it in English. So here it goes. For my first English video, we're gonna do an unboxing video. I got something awesome from Spider Farmer, LED grow lights and grow kits. So let's see what's in the box, shall we? I'm so excited about this, guys, you have no idea. We've done a lot of stuff on this uh, channel, we've done a lot of videos, we've learned a lot about cannabis, but we've never done anything about uh, the cultivation aspect. I've always avoided to do that because I have no experience in it, so I think this will be a good opportunity for me to make up for that because uh, as some of you might know I'm currently enrolled in uh, cannabis training university and I'm actually studying the growing aspect of uh, the cannabis industry and uh, I think this is gonna be an awesome way for me to put all that knowledge to practice and see if it actually works as an experiment of course uh, all we do is research we're here to learn we're here to educate ourselves we're here to inform ourselves about cannabis i've wanted a grow kit for a very 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 long time since i started becoming obsessed with uh, learning about cannabis but i've always avoided it because of financial issues mostly it's not a small investment you know but it is worth it and they are cheaper now than uh, what they used to be when i first started looking into this six seven years ago so I want to thank Spider Farmer for sending me this grow kit about which I know almost nothing about. Again, I've never done this before. So this is the first time. So I can give you a review of how it works and how well it performs, but we will give it a try and we will put it to the test. So we'll let results speak for that. I don't think you need a noob's opinion on a grow tent. You know, I've never done it. so. My opinion is not worth a lot right now, but let's test this baby out and we'll have an idea of how good it is or not. Okay, so let's see what we have in this box. Some flex air aluminum ducting. Uh, okay, what else? We have a thermo, a thermometer and a hygrometer. Very nice, so we can uh, keep track of the temperature and the humidity in our environment. Here we have a 24 hour plug-in timer, which is good for you to control your light. You know, you have cycles of day and night that the plant needs to develop, to grow. So that's a good way to control that in an enclosed artificial environment. Okay, what else we have here? We have a span speed controller. Very nice, that comes in handy. Uh, we have some rings here. We have some five gallon growing bags. These will come in handy too. Some more rings. Okay, some rope clip hanger. Okay, we're pretty much done with the loose parts. Let's see what's in these boxes. Gotta cut the tape carefully in case there's cables or stuff like that. Okay, let's see what's in this baby. Ooh, straight on the money. Oh 
Okay. Spider Farmer SF Series Grow Lights. Okay, they say they have Samsung LED bulbs, which is uh, good news if they're original Samsung ones, which I think they are. Nice, you have some nice instructions to use, like how far it should be from the canopy at different stages, how you should secure it, how you operate it multiple languages i like this this will come in handy but let's see how the light looks okay pretty cute not a big one probably enough for one plant but hey we're doing research here we're experimenting so one plant should be enough so it has an on and off button it has a dial for minimum, maximum, so you can, uh, you can control the intensity of it, which is pretty cool. It's not that heavy, seems pretty sturdy. Like, I'm not afraid to hold it, not afraid that it will break. So we have grow lights, uh, more uh, hanging clips, another box. Let's see what bo box number two has in it. Tension intensifies. There's a plastic piece in here and oh my God, oh my God. Is this the inline fan? It is the inline fan. Okay. Nice inline fan. Seems like pretty good quality. So we have the lights, we have the fan, and we have two more boxes to open. We're gonna leave the biggest one last. Let's see what this one hides, or what this one holds. Ooh, baby, could this be? Could this be what I think it is? And yes, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what keeps the smells in place. This is a carbon filter. Very, very, very important piece to your uh, equipment because uh, you don't wanna stink up the whole place where you're growing. You know, you might be living in an apartment or your house might be on a busy street or you, you know, you don't want weed smelling everywhere so you you want to have one of these babies super handy super super handy okay that was the carbon filter and now the last box the big box it's tied with plastic ties i might do some presses with this it's heavy enough There's a clear sign on this box that says no sharp objects. I'm still going to use this knife, but be very careful because this is where the tent is and you don't want to cut the tent. Okay. Grow tent. And this comes with a user manual as well. It says it's uh, super reflective. It's a steel frame zipper door and you have a little watch window. So this is their smallest tent. Uh, it's really small. It's a 27 by 27 by 62. You have all the stuff in here. You have the legs. You have the tent here. And that's everything that this kit has. So one thing I didn't think about is where I'm gonna put this tent, but I know for sure I can't have it sitting in the living room because if people come over and they start getting curious i will be put in the position where i'll have to answer questions that i really don't want to so i prefer not to have it down here so it took me a while to find a place for the tent but i did it and the next thing i want to show you is how the lights look mounted inside of the tent because that's all i managed to do so far are you guys ready let's turn the lights on Booyaka. okay this is the inside of the tent i only managed to put the lights on so far but i'll get to the rest and i want to show you how it looks the spider farmer 
SF1000 full spectrum dimmable LED grow light that's high energy efficient, saves 50% on your electric bill and has a 50% longer lifespan compared to other brands according to Spider Farmer. They also claim that your uh, maximum yield is 2.5 grams per watt which I'm a little bit skeptical about because I would say it's more uh, 1.5 grams per watt but we'll see when the time comes so as you can see it's big enough for this tent I'm sure it's powerful enough for like a couple of plants a couple more things about these lights they have Samsung diodes they have waterproof coating which reduces the risk from splashes they have the newest dimmer knob to make it easy to adjust the light intensity and it only draws a hundred watts so say goodbye to high electric bills it also has fanless design which means there's no noise and it has a three-year warranty with local service center in US Canada UK and Germany I uh, read comments and reviews on it and a lot of people love it most people love it it actually has an awesome rating on Amazon so the next step is to have something grow so we can test it and see if it actually works as the manual and as the manufacturer says it does if you're impatient and you don't want to wait till I get to test this through and you want your own spider farmer grow lights right now well you can get them by checking out the links in the description of this video and I think that's all I have for today guys but I will be back soon with an update uh, we gotta germinate some seeds first and we'll take it from there okay so subscribe if you haven't give us a big like and hope to see you again in the next video one love